Okay, we have in our possession a Fender Bass Breaker 15 watt head. So uh, I thought I would um, uh, I would give it a review. Um, it's, it's fairly new on the marketplace as I speak. Not that new, but pretty new. Um, a lot of people were raving about it, so it's a great amp. Um, uh, it's got clean channel and all that kind of stuff. But the way I see it, the way I see this amp, is that a lot of people are kind of buying it because they want to rock out, right? They want to use it as a rock amp because it's a bass breaker, right? And the first Marshall was modelled on the first um, uh, Fender Basement amp, which is I'm assuming that's the there's a correlation between the two. So I'm assuming this is a kind of like a neat little kind of rocking amp. Yeah, it does the clean stuff, which we'll kind of we'll kind of go through. Um, uh, and the other thing I noticed is, is that obviously you have to turn it up. To, you know, you have to turn this amp up a bit to, to you know to get some to get some oomph out of it. But um, so you know, if you plan on using this in your bedroom, I don't know. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if, if it's going to be right for you. But anyway, um, let's let, let me run over it. I've got everything in the middle. Uh, I'm clean now, so I just put everything at twelve o'clock. Uh, apart from the master, which I've just got it at I don't know. I've got it about 11 o'clock, uh, which is which is quite loud. And I've got reverb just just a touch. So. <laughs> And that kind of volume sounds a bit muddy to me, but I'm sure if we up the master, that still sounds muddy to me. Anyway, so um, so that's 12 o'clock on clean, which is fine, I suppose. Um, nothing to write home about, I don't think personally. Uh, I've got the bright switch engaged as well, so let's go to the middle, which is uh, which is called mid. It's ah, better. Okay, so let's, um, let's up the gain in that, in that, let's see if we can get some kind of, um, bit more saturation going on. Yes, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's push the, uh, let's push the, the power up a bit. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Uh, and now, really, <laughs> The high gain, which is, I, I'm assuming most people are going to use this amp for this because it excels uh, in this mode, completely excels. So I'm in the high, I've got the gain at 12 o'clock, I've got everything else at 12 o'clock. I um, mean, you can tweak those all you like. I got about um, the volume at 11, master volume at 11. I just got a little bit of reverb because I don't want to cover it too much. <laughs> Okay, so that's quite a good overdrive. Don't forget, these are very low power pickups I've got in here. So if you've got high power pickups, you're going to drive this a lot harder. So if I just turn it around the uh, gain to, uh, I know, let's say about um, 3 o'clock, obviously it's getting a bit noisier. <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to sing now. Okay, I can kick with this amp like that. Let's turn the master up a little bit more. for um, I've been going to say about 400 quid or something like that probably less than that for a 15 watt head um, yeah that's pretty good value for money um, I, you know, I, do you know what I, I don't think much of the um, the clean channel on it but I don't think that's what it's for um, but anyway I think it's a pretty good amp I mean without going into it in too much detail basically what you want to do is you, you want to go into the, uh, the high section turn the gain up Probably you might want to fiddle with the tone knobs a bit more. Probably get more edge out of it, more bass out of it, whatever. It's got everything. Only at 12 o'clock, and obviously a little bit more reverb if you want. Um, it's going through a, a high watt cab, but uh, the speakers in this high watt cab are uh, 7080s, which aren't very good speakers to me. 
Um, but um, I just thought I'd put it through there just to sort of really give it a test out. Uh, I'm going to change the speakers in these and, you know, probably need another video. But anyway, that's the uh, Fender Bass Breaker, uh, the short version. It sounds great. Um, you know, if, if, if that's the kind of thing you want. The other thing, just what, before I go, is that I think, I think, um, if, if you're kind of in like a, a, a rock band, you know, a pretty basic kind of rock band or an alternative rock band, uh, this amp will work for you in a live situation. I think it'll give you just enough. Only just, but just enough. Um, but don't take my word for it, you can go and check one out for yourself. Anyway, um, I won't be using it in my setup because I don't use this kind of amp. I prefer something a little bit more modern, like this Black Star. But um, this is a good amp, nonetheless. Um, if, if I wanted a standby amp, I'd probably buy one of these. Cheers for that. Put your comments in the bottom anyway. Be interested to see what you think. Um, because this isn't one of your normal reviews, because yeah, they bore me, the uh, reviews. So tell me what you think, put comments in the bottom, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, uh, there, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh, um, yeah, in the next video, um, I'm going to show you how to turn this Fender Bass Breaker into a free channel amp. And it's going to sound really good too. Catch you later.